What up guys? It's Marty and today on uh, you know, with my Call of Duty channel. You know, if you're new here, we do like taste tests, product reviews, tech reviews, uh, you know, daily vlogs, sometimes my general thoughts, you know, we run the gambit on like everything here. It's like a big variety show. Anyway, for today's review, today's review, we're reviewing that Wonder Woman 1984 or WW84 as it says on the on the HBO Max. Anyway, so I got HBO Max last night and I wanted to watch had some great Christmas movies, you know, so I watched Friday After Next and Die Hard, and then I was like, oh, Wonder Woman 84 is on here, I'll watch it. So I just got done watching Wonder Woman 84, you know, I started it last night, and let me guys, let me tell you guys what here. So this here is my honest uh, review of Wonder Woman 84. So guys, Wonder Woman 84, it starts out, uh, and, and by the way, there's going to be some spoiler alerts here. So just so you know, just so you know, uh, it starts out. Uh, you know, uh, as, as a little one woman girl, you know, she's like in some competition, and that part's really good, you know. She almost wins. She almost wins it and everything, and then it goes to like present day, uh, 1984, and I believe they're in Washington D.C., and uh, she's just like hanging out, being like her one woman self, and I guess she has a job at like the Smithsonian, so she's like doing things with the Smithsonian, and then. Uh, uh, she comes across this blonde that's working at the Smithsonian, however you say that word. And uh, they're trying to find out what this artifact is and everything. And it's like some uh, truth serum thing or whatever. So you like touch it and you're like, what do you wish for? And then BAM! Your wish comes true. And then, uh, there's like nothing throughout the whole entire movie. So I, I like turned it off and I restarted it this morning because I was like, man, this movie's like... what. Uh, I think uh, like two and a half hours long or something like that, and I was like, there ain't nothing to this movie. So the first part was really good with Little Wonder Woman doing that competition thing, and then it was like nothing until like almost the very end uh, when uh, uh, she's like uh, in uh, she makes like jet invisible and everything, and uh, then. Uh, and then all of a sudden, so she like renounces her wish and everything, blah blah blah. But you know, all of a sudden, she's just like she's like flying. So like, what what does one woman think she is now? Uh, Superman, just flying around all willy nilly, and like occasionally you can see her do the the whip thing. But then she's just like, you know, flying. And I'm like, man, this movie it's pretty lackluster, you know, pretty lackluster. But they're at the very end, you know, they get in a fight, you know, so that's pretty good. And I just think there should have been way more action and everything. And these, or just these DC movies in general, they don't hold a candle to the Marvel movies. I mean, you could pick any Marvel movie. Pick any Marvel movie. It'll be better than this Wonder Woman 84, you know. Uh, the last Wonder Woman was was a bit better. But this this new Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 84, it was supposed to come out like last year. But because of the Rona, uh, you know, it just popped up on uh, on HBO Max and everything. So, man, this movie should have stayed unreleased. Because, really, guys, if it wasn't a movie theater, I wouldn't pay money to see this. And if I paid money to see it, I'd be like, man, that show was a waste of money. But good thing it was on the HBO Max, you know. It was like fourteen ninety nine a month. And, uh, so, I got my money's worth worth out of it, you know, because I watched Die Hard last night. I watched Friday After Next. I'm going to watch that new, uh, uh, or that South Park special. And then the Fresh Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion special, you know. So I got money work, my money's worth out of the HBO Max. But I'm gonna cancel HBO Max because, other than that, you know, ain't nothing on the HBO Max. So anyway, guys, my final thoughts for the the review of One Woman, 1984. You know, I'm gonna give it a decent, decent. You know, it was decent. You know, I didn't hate it. I definitely didn't. didn't really like it or anything. I mean, those Marvel movies, way better, way better, you know. I can't wait till some of those Marvel movies come out on Disney Plus, or they have some, like, new Marvel movies in general in the movie theaters, if there are movie theaters, you know, because where I'm at, you still can't go to a movie theater and everything, so that's why I was on HBO Max and everything. But anyway, guys, hopefully you like this review of uh, my uh, honest opinion of One Woman 1984, you know. Anyway, guys, just make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know, take care of yourself, be kind to one another, you know, keep spreading those, uh, good vibes only, good vibes only, and yeah, with that said, Marty out!